This is a video tutorial to assist students in logging into PowerSchool for their first time. In this particular building, a letter was sent to each student with their login credentials. This might be different at your school district, but just know, in order to get this started, you will need a username and password from your school building. To get started, make sure that you have your credentials and the link to your specific PowerSchool. Each district is unique for the first part of the PowerSchool URL. But student logins, despite the link, will always be slash public. Slash public is also where parents and guardians log in. Once you have your username and password, put your specific URL into a browser. PowerSchool loves Google Chrome, so that would be my number one recommendation. Insert your username and password and sign in. This is a test server, so my color banner might be different than yours. Let's go over a few navigation tools in PowerSchool. The first navigation tool is grades and attendance. Here you can view this week and last week's attendance and all of your current grades. It looks like because the semester is still new, I only have a couple grades in. You can click on that letter grade and see all of the assignments that were assigned to you and that score you got. So it looks like I'm doing pretty well in my gym class. To go back out to the start page, I can simply click the P. I can also view my grade history over time for this year. I can see, starting from semester one, all of my letter grades, quarter one and quarter two, and even my exam grades for E1 term. I can view my attendance history. And something to note in PowerSchool, that anytime there is a blank, that means that I was present on that day. So um, it looks like I have an absence and a doctor. The very bottom are a key of all of the attendance codes. So if I didn't know what one meant, you can look it up here. Teacher comments is something um, that can be used by teachers to leave comments on how you're doing in those courses. I like to use it to email your teacher. Um, you can click the link here and it'll open up your Outlook to email that teacher. Lastly, let's look at my schedule. As a semester changes, you can view how your schedule will play out. And um, once this opens up for the new school year and you get scheduled, you can look there as well. Another important note is this district code, and this district code is helpful if you would like to download the iPhone or Android app. Um, so you can open up this browser in your browser of your phone and then click either download on the App Store or download on Google Play to open and download the free, the free application. It's important to note that this district code is a piece of information you will need in order to sync up your account on once you've downloaded the PowerSchool app, open up the app, and there's where you put the district code. As soon as you have the district code from your browser, you can start the process by logging in with the same username and password. I really like the phone application, especially the calendar and the notifications you can set up for missing assignments and upcoming homework. This concludes a student tutorial on how to set up your PowerSchool account. If you have any questions, ask your building administrator. Have a great day.